so we're just gonna roll the way we can. So this is 25 things you could do in LA. So these things range from costing money to, well, they're not gonna go in that order, but some of these things cost money and some of these things don't. I went to LA for a week in June, so I do not live there, but I research a lot of stuff. Also, some of these things are big things that you already know, and I might just give you a couple of tips on it. If you see me looking down, it's because my notes are down here, and it's where I have the whole, like my whole list is here. We're starting with the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So I remember this is where we started off for this day. I don't remember what day it was. I'm not going in order. But we started off at the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You know, you walk around, you look at things. It's pretty nice, okay? And it's free. You walk around, you look at all the stars, you take pictures with who you want. Like, it's a fun area. Something that's on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is the, the Museum of Illusion. So me and my friend went there. I want to say it was around 20 bucks. Um, if it's not, I'm just going to put the real price down there. Um, and it's just a cool place to take a bunch of pictures at. Me and my friend, we tend to go through things very fast, but we stopped at everyone and we took pictures of everyone. I'm not gonna show all of them, but I'll, put, I'll show some of them. Um, it's a really fun area. The third place we went to was Mel's Drive-In. Mel's Drive-In is like, it's this really old, I don't remember the background story, I just know it's really old, it's really famous. Um, it, it's like retro, like 80s, 70s? I don't really know, I'm sorry. I didn't do enough background check on that. Anyways, that's Mel's Drive-In. They have bomb ass food and the shake was bomb. Everything was bomb about there. I would definitely go again. And the server was nice and everything. It, I'm pretty sure it gets busy, but we, we went kind of early lunch. So it wasn't like super bad or anything. We sat at a booth. Everything was really cute. The place you want to go to. Oh, also Mel's Drive-In is right near Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, I remember how close, but it's really close by. Um, number five is Melrose Avenue. So if you love taking cute pictures, you love having like Instagram photos, Melrose Avenue is a place to go. It's also the place with the pink wall, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's the place with the pink wall. My pink wall picture didn't come out too nice, but it was okay. There's lots of other beautiful artwork there that I loved watching and seeing. Um, also, when you're driving to, or we were on the bus when we were in Melrose, we saw more on the way. So we stopped about five, 10 minutes like we were on Melrose Avenue being oh wait I don't even know where we were at but we stopped before the stop to get off and we found more artwork and we took more pictures number five would be crumbs and whiskers so if you like cats if you like coffee go to crumbs and whiskers it's that simple you basically get to play with cats and drink coffee at the same time they have like I don't remember exactly the prices but we just saw it so we went in number six is Karika Cafe I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm just gonna say it like that. Um, we just went in there because it was a cute little shop. We were basically at this point we were just walking around um, anywhere we could go, so we were just walking around. And they had like healthy types of like drinks. It was more like a I want to say white people thing, but I don't know if that sounds. I want it to sound weird. I don't mean it like that, but like it, it's a white people thing. Um, it was okay. I didn't mind it. I'm just putting it in because it was a cute spot to be at. And it was all like, cute and stuff. Number seven is Beverly Hills. So you can just walk around Beverly Hills. Obviously, there's a Beverly Hills sign in front of the pond. Cute. The park. Cute. It's that simple. It's just, it's just Beverly Hills. You just walk around it. Eight. Um, there's this dome or this rock thing that we went to. Found the name. It's called the Levitated Mass Rock. So basically, you can walk under this rock. And it's a huge, big ass rock. That you can walk under. I just, we just stumbled upon it. I I'm, apparently it is part of LACMA. Let me just say LACMA. But I didn't know that. We didn't know that at that time. But yeah, so you can go visit that. Nine is LACMA itself. We didn't go inside, but we went to the lights outside, take pictures. Obviously, inside would be pretty nice too. I don't remember what time the lights start, but we were there a little early, so we had to wait like half an hour ish because it's more close to sun now that they're even. Number ten. This is the last thing we did for the night was the Intercontinental. Los Angeles, if you go to the Intercontinental Los Angeles downtown, you can go up to their, um, if you're not 21, you can't go up to their rooftop bar, which is 73 floors, and the top part is a rooftop bar. You obviously can't go if you're under 21, which me and my friend were, but you could go to the 72nd floor and you could look at the view. It was really beautiful. I would recommend it, especially if you're over 21, go to the rooftop bar. Um, I've heard that the drinks aren't great, but the view is really nice, so that's going to be up to you. Yeah. This is just going to be a bonus in. But one really good place in downtown LA that I really liked was Ho Ho Chicken. Um, I feel like it's kind of small, but they had really bomb ass chicken. You need to get the chicken and the rice. 
okay? I don't remember what chicken I got. When I see the menu again, I'll know. But you gotta go to Ho Ho Chicken. It is pretty damn good. The 11th is you could go visit the old abandoned zoo. Now, don't be like me and my friend. Um, I We said that we were never gonna talk about this, but we were trying to find videos of how to get to here because when they dropped us off, because we had to take an Uber, he dropped us off like, like in a different part of the park because it's part of the park. He dropped us off at a different park. So we didn't look at the park map because we kept looking at videos that said there's a hike to it. So they took us, so, say this is the whole park. This is where the old abandoned zoo is. And like, this is kind of like, it goes like that. They dropped us off right here. Okay, so the old abandoned zoo is on the other side, but it's basically just like a walk that way. Now, there's an old carousel over here somewhere. And you could have hiking packs up, like they're all the way up, like, and they come back down and whatever. Now. The video we watched told us to freaking find the carousel, walk towards the carousel. So already we're walking this way and not that way. And then you have to like cross this weird road, find the right path, because there's like five million paths going out. Walk up, and then they told us to keep going up, and like, it was just so weird. And like finally, when we got to like right here, like, okay, maybe it was like right here. Um, I saw, I was like, is that the zoo? Because I could see the gate and stuff, and I was like, that's the fucking zoo. We were like up here, so we had to find a path to go down. Finally, we found it, and there were like a couple of like kids inside. And we we're like, "Oh, how'd you get inside?" And they helped us get through like this little broken part of the fence. They helped us climb in, whatever, and we got to explore the whole park. But yeah, turns out I was like a five seven minute walk away when we took a half an hour to an hour to go all the way around. Don't do that unless you want to do a hike. It was a nice hike, but it was not worth what we were trying to do. That was like a rant flash story time. Whoops. 12 would be Hermosa Park. So Hermosa Park is this very beautiful park, but they have a bench if you go a little further into the park where you can see downtown Los Angeles skyline. And it's a very beautiful area to just sit and relax and obviously get a nice picture. But it's just a very beautiful area. So that's Hermosa Park. 13 is the Broad. So this is a museum. It's a free museum. Now listen up. You can get your tickets ahead of time for free online, on your computer, on your phone, whatever. On like online when we got there we saw a bunch of people waiting in line and it was a long ass line we were like oh do you guys have your tickets are you trying to get into the museum they're like oh we're just waiting to get into the free museum and i was like oh you guys don't have tickets and then turns out you could just get your tickets and you could go in at the time you're scheduled you don't have to wait in this very long line the bottle was really nice i liked it it's the one with the big table yeah the big like table they also have this room i forgot what it was called but that room you have to schedule ahead of time to get in, and we unfortunately didn't get in, but they have a smaller piece like on the second floor. So you can go check that out. Number 14 is The Last Bookstore. The Last Bookstore is it's just, um, it's a very famous old bookstore. You could go in, you're not allowed to bring your bags in, so you have to leave them at the front. And they'll give you a little like thing so you don't steal. But you can buy books, it's very cute, it has two stories. They're the one with the book ton though. It's just really cute, and you guys should go check it out and you know, buy a book, read some. Number 15 would be the Grand Central Market. Now this is bustling, it's great. I, it was just a very, like, it's just a nice vibe there. I went to Egg Slut, um, they have good eggs. Um, obviously it's a little more mainstream. They have other mainstream stuff there, like the PB&J place, a couple other stuff. I researched thoroughly, but they have more. And then we got like some sushi, I think it was, from some random spot, I don't really remember it anymore, but yeah. 16 is the Arts District, so this is another place full of artwork they could walk around their whole like building walls are filled with art it's wonderful they have like little tiny shops you could go into and like buy stuff from if you want to support them that's totally up to you but yeah that's nice 17 is going to the beach first beach we went to was sunset beach it was a cool like just a regular beach it's not like super it, well it was kind of busy i mean we went in june but it wasn't like super packed packed and it was nice it was a little windy that day but it wasn't nothing it was nothing bad yeah, we had fun. So that was a fun place. Um, just any beach. I personally went to Sunset Beach because that's the one that I had directions to. 18 is Venice Beach. Now it's like beach and beach. But Venice Beach, it was a totally different experience. It was just, just the vibe there was great. You could see shows, there's shops, you could do so much stuff. You could see the skateboard rink, the, uh, what is it, the muscle gym, the muscle gym, muscle, yeah. It's called the Venice Muscle Beach, where you could see a bunch of people lifting weights, doing whatever. It was just, I honestly thought it was a very cool place to be at. Um, the one thing that I wanted to do, but we couldn't because we were late, was I wanted to bike across it. Because they have bike rentals, but I think it was a cool place. 
19 is the Arclight Theater. I know it's not a place, but this theater is really fucking nice. When we went there, Despicable... No. Despicable Me. Impossible. The Impossibles 2 came out. So we went to go watch that. Honestly, I don't understand why people don't do this. Just buy your tickets ahead of time on your phone. You can get the best seats and you could come in late. I don't understand why people don't do this. As for me, I'm always late to wherever I go. But, like, you know, being late to movies, but you're on time for the movie because of all the, like, commercials and shit. I'm, I'm that person. But, yeah, just buy your ticket ahead of time. Arc Light Theater, pretty nice. 20 is the Santa Monica Pier. Um, it was a really nice place to be at. Um, we played game. Did we play game? We went on the Ferris wheel. We got, like, dessert and stuff. It was just cool. 21 is, like, a general concept, but it's Airbnb experiences. So the one that we did was uh, the Runyon Canyon dog, yeah, Runyon Canyon dog walk, and basically what we paid went to these for to these dogs to take care of them because it's a free doctor I think that's what he's called. Um, but anyways, we got to take them to the walk. We got to see the Hollywood walk of like Hollywood walk, Hollywood sign. We got to see the Hollywood sign. It was cool. We got to take pictures with all the dogs. They're so cute. You got to change dogs. You got to pet all of them. I'm personally an animal lover. I love dogs to death. I have my own little baby. So I am thoroughly enjoy doing this and get good pictures. Um, the Runyon Canyon and the Hollywood sign was already part of my list I wanted to do. So to do those two together just worked out. Oh shit. Oh, this chair. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Oh my god. Okay, so obviously there's other experiences. I'm looking at some. They have like kayaking. They have yacht tours. They have more like the Hollywood sign towards like walking behind it. They have like people to take your Instagram photos, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, just check out Airbnb experiences. Honestly, they're pretty, they're pretty cool. 22, so these are, the next things are kind of just gonna be the very big things. 22 is Disneyland. The only time, get the app, watch the water show at night, or not the water show, the water show is at California Adventure side. We only went to Disneyland side, the fireworks show. 23 is Universal Studios. I had to go finally see the freaking Harry Potter world because I love Harry Potter. I had to finally do it. I bought the wand, but I did not buy the interactive wand because I wasn't going to be in the Harry Potter world for that long, but I wanted to keep a piece of it with me. Butterbeer. Get the butterbeer. At first of all, it was good, and you get the little mug with it, and it was get, get the butterbeer. They have shows, so if you go at the right time, first of all, plan out where you're going everywhere, and then go watch a show. First of all, the shows are cool. Just watch one. Like, you don't have to watch all of them. Watch one. We were on most of the rides, so it's cool. I have a challenge. Take the steps instead of the escalators. If you guys have been to Universal Studios, you know what I mean. From the first area to the second area, take the steps up and down, both ways. I dare y'all. I did it. Only once. It was hell, but I did it. Um, do it. Another thing is the Universal City Walk. So this is something that you'll walk through when you're going there. It's something you'll walk through when you're coming back. It's just a cool place to look around it. It's very nice, sweet. They got food places, other stuff. Just check it out. 24 is Six Flags, um, Magic Mountain. Um, my favorite ride there was the Superman. Magic Mountain, we went on honestly the best freaking day because we were going on all the rides first. We went on the Superman like three times because there was no line. Like, take, don't stop at the first ride. When you get there, do not go to the first ride because it's going to have the longest wait time. Go to the second part. Go to the second part. Because you will have no line and get them all done. And you can come back down and take this ride. Like, it's that easy. That's all you gotta do. Um, that was 24. And my 25th is concerts. Now, you're in LA. You're gonna have hella concerts there. I went to Smoke... Coincidentally, I'm wearing my shirt. I went to Smoke and Grooves. Okay, it was Erica Badu. Badu. I'm fucking up everybody's name today. And there's a whole bunch of other people. They're on my back. I don't feel like turning around. But it was, it was a cool experience. It was at Queen Mary, the area. Um, it was really cool to do that. Look at Ticketmaster. Look at StubHub. You don't need to go to a big concert like Smoking Goose, but there's hella small. Just go to a concert. I, me, personally, I love concerts. That's why I'm like putting this out there. But concerts are a fun thing. You should definitely do it. Definitely go check it out. So I'm done for my 25 things in LA. Yeah, they're not like a lot, but I feel like they're good enough. I really enjoyed my week there, and I hope anybody going to any of these places enjoy their week too. Bye.